This is a long-term follow-up on uh, water management and evaluation of the right front fender of a Fisker Ocean. I had previously installed a, um, a barrier up in this region to block off the flame, frame support rail right there where water flows over the top. Um, I have placed a barrier uh, to prevent water coming from the wheel well here. And I've also got a VSP block on the plate under here. Um, and what we're doing now is we're looking at any residual sources of water. So what I did is I washed my car and I figured, okay, let's see where the water comes in. I wasn't spraying in any one particular area, but obviously I sprayed heavily in the front and we see that there is still water that lands on the VSP box, that's it right there. Um, as near as I can tell, it is not coming from the frame rail. This looks completely dry up here. Um, there is some water staining coming through the front bumper here. So I think the front bumper grill and maybe around some of these sensors still leaks a little bit. Looking at your ultrasonic sensors, there's a little bit of water that looks like it either intrudes around them or maybe over the top and then drips on them, but it doesn't look like there's a lot that gets on the connectors. Um, the uh, mid-range sensor also doesn't have any water on it. There's a little bit of water staining in the plastic around it, but I, I have not water sealed these connectors here. Um, to the best of my knowledge, nobody's having uh, repeated failures like you are with these connectors down here, so I haven't um, sealed those off. Uh, I did seal the uh, the water pump motor. Uh, it's probably completely unnecessary. I don't believe any uh, canned data goes through that. Um, there is also a little bit of water that's coming around what I believe is the headlight. Um, none of this looks real serious. It's definitely better than it used to be. Um, but even with what I've done, I think it's pretty important that uh, these two connectors here in particular be wrapped and, and um, have a little silicone grease and maybe some plastic dip where the wires enter. And I've wrapped a few other connectors here too. Um, I think we're kind of at the point of diminishing returns here. This doesn't look too bad for how much water I've sprayed in here. And my guess is that most of these um, final leakage points are you know, they're, they're kind of small leakage points from various places, you know, through the grill or whatever. And like to chase these down, I, I just think it's just not really practical. Um, so most likely I won't do anything else and we'll just um, consider the blocking of the major problems and then this, this wrap here on the various connectors to be uh, enough to keep me out of trouble.